Hi, it's Chester of Blue PK and Computer Training, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to count errors in Excel. First of all, we'll look at how to count specific errors, for example, the NA errors in column F, and then I'll show you how to count all errors within a range. Okay, let's get started with counting specific errors. So I have the NA errors in column F, where I'm doing a VLOOKUP and if the customer is not in the January list, I get an NA error, which tells me that that customer is a new customer. So I want to count the number of new customers. Now, the function to achieve this is the COUNTIF function. First argument is range, so the range of cells that you're counting in. And then your criteria, very simply, in quotation marks, is the error as it is displayed in your worksheet. So if I'm counting the NA error in quotation marks, I put hash N forward slash A. Close the bracket, press enter. Works the same with the num error. For some reason I've got some num errors in the spend column here. So what I would do is say count if, again, specify the range. Then in quotation marks, the error as it appears in your worksheet. Okay, so that's how you count the number of times a particular error occurs within a specified range. What if you wanted to count all errors? Well, on this sheet we have various different errors and I want to count all the errors within this range. We're going to use the sum product function to do this calculation. Just to aid in your understanding, I'm going to start with the is error function. Is error evaluates whether a cell reference or value supplied is an error. Now, normally what you would do is you'd click in one cell and it would say true or false, depending on whether that cell contained an error or not. True if it does, false if it doesn't. Now I want to evaluate not only that cell, but all the cells in this range. If I press enter, in Excel 365, what it does is spill its results out into surrounding cells. If you don't have Excel 365, what you can do is select your formula and press F9 on your keyboard and you'll see the results there as an array of results within the cell. I'll just undo that, Control Z. Now, what I want to do is to convert the trues to ones and the forces to zeros. And I can do that by putting two minus signs in front of the is error function. Now, if I press enter, you can see what it does. I get ones and zeros. The trues have become ones and the forces have become zeros. Uh, if you don't have Excel 365, just select the formula, press F9 on your keyboard and you'll see the same effect. Now essentially what I want to do is add up the ones and at the moment these ones and zeros are within an array and a function that can happily perform calculations on arrays is some product. So I'm going to put the isError function within some product. Close the bracket at the end, press enter, and you can see that it effectively adds up the ones that the isError function returned. Now there is a way of counting all errors except for NA errors. Very similar to what we've done up here. So I will copy this formula and paste it down into this cell. And instead of using is error, we will use this function, I-S-E-R-R. -R. And that checks whether a value is an error other than the N-A error. If I press enter here, you can see that the count is three, excludes the N-A error in our list. Okay, that's all I wanted to cover in this particular video. Hopefully you found that useful. If you have, please subscribe. And I'll see you next video.